Travis Wayne Goodsell. It appears that uh, winning my lawsuit against the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has shut down the whole state of Utah. <laughs> So uh, that shows you how much of an impact uh, the church has. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's actually the snowstorm we got. <laughs> I had uh, just called uh, the federal court uh, to uh, to uh, file or have the clerk uh, put in the default status. Uh, to uh, uh, nail the final nail in the coffin, even though on the 1st of February at midnight on 2020, uh, the church officially lost their case because of Judge First refusing to reply to my motion. Uh, so, <laughs> and yeah, the snow has uh, closed the court for at least the morning, if it continues. <laughs> It'll be the whole day, uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's not necessary for me to do this call and to have it permanently etched on the record, but uh, I'm crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, the case is 219CV00711, 00711, and uh, it's official, it's it's not a scam, it's not a con, this is real, this isn't fake news, this isn't news at all, this is a blog, uh, the news is refusing to cover it, uh, that's why it's necessary uh, to constantly upload tons and tons and billions and billions of videos until people realize the church lost. It's over. So when I attended church for Super Bowl Sunday to give off the appearance that I wasn't going to watch the game, <laughs> I was involved in an illegal activity that the church was involved in. Yeah, the church was supposed to be closed that day. Uh, the temples are all supposed to be closed. Not just Temple Square for the remodeling of the, the earthquake protection, but everything closed forever. No conference for the church uh, in April. No seminary, no institute. BYU's shut down. Everything shut down. It's supposed to happen. It's over. It's done. But uh, this is what I have to deal with with a corrupt government where I followed the law and therefore won because of this process which they apparently didn't know <laughs> because of their corruption they have created a procedure that uh, uh, violates the uh, rules of the court and uh, by following the rules of the court I won <laughs> And so, yeah, this is big news uh, as the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has lost a major lawsuit because now what's supposed to happen is the Utah Attorney General for the state of Utah, or the United States Attorney General for the state of Utah, is now required to proceed with a criminal case because of the loss in the civil case. That's why the uh, U.S. Attorney General for the state of Utah was supposed to secure all the evidence that I was to present uh, for uh, that follow-up criminal case uh, if I were to have won, and as I won, they are supposed to now proceed with the criminal case. And so, you know, these are the laws that they set up and they're not wanting to follow them, are they? As the storm is helping protect the church. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shut down the whole state of Utah. Schools, everything. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to...
take tracks today. I think it might be canceled too. Because uh, if they can't drive, they don't fly. They don't drive. So, oh man. Snowed in. So how about that Super Bowl? <laughs> the Rock himself gave me a shout out. I did the little clip. Uh, I got a hold of it and, and I spliced it just so that he says, My man Travis. <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. So I'll keep you updated. I guess I get to work on these other videos since I can't do anything else today. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, these other videos, I've now added a new uh, playlist. Uh, LDS Church Closed. Is that what I titled it? it? Whatever it is, when you click on my playlist uh, page, uh, it'll be the one in the upper left hand corner because that's the brand new one so uh, that's where I'll be putting all these other ones in there about illegally holding church on Super Bowl Sunday Big Brother needs to leak to the church that they need to close Article of Faith number 12 uh, uh, let's see where's the other one the 30 pieces of silver <laughs> for the federal auction of the, the temples. <laughs> and then the U Utah storm closure, symbol of LDS church closure. <laughs> so yeah, that's my focus for the videos now. I'm no longer going to be discussing the lawsuit. It's done and over. I won. And so now it's a matter of what next? what's going to happen now, what the church needs to do, what the courts need to do, uh, and so on. That's, it's a, now a shift. And what I'm going to do, I have the new LDS church playlist already, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's over guys. Church is closed. Church is closed forever. Is that uh, Mr. Ex Mormon who uh, spray painted garments on stage or something like that? Alice Cooper. <laughs> so yeah, Mormons ban the underwear. <laughs> You're no longer required anymore. I'm not gonna pursue keeping them if they just choose to hand over the keys rather than sending me a check. Like I said, I'm doing a charity organization, full charity organization. Uh, and it's not a charity where I just give and give and give and give and require donations in order to give. No, this is a charity where uh, people will be uh, lifted out of poverty so that they, I don't have to keep giving. They will be self-productive. Uh, only those who are uh, elderly and disabled. Uh, no, you're the you're the charity um, that keeps on giving. So, um, but otherwise, uh, others who uh, can uh, uh, contribute uh, with their art and talents and and whatever, uh, you'll be provided for with whatever you need, and whatever you want. That's my charity. Uh, and more details uh, are to come and have been coming, and, uh, but uh, yeah, that, that, in a nutshell, that's what it is. It's a different kind of charity that lifts people out of poverty rather than perpetuates the poverty that people are in. And then uh, religion, like I said, no more gar no more magic underwear with the Freemason square and compass. Uh, no more uh, protection money tithing. No more uh, pyramid scam recruitment, missionary recruitment. Uh, uh, the sacrament, uh, 
um, uh, will be held as uh, churches become temples uh, because that's how it was done anciently sacrament was done in the temples uh, but it's a restoration of the Egyptian religion because that's what Mormonism is that's what Joseph Smith was working on making it was the restoration of the Egyptian religion that's why they say the ancient religion they don't say that classic New Testament gospel narrative religion no the ancient religion the origin of religion Egyptian that's why the Book of Mormon Egyptian 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 that's why Joseph Smith Egyptian 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 Book of Abraham Egyptian 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 are you not catching on Mormons <laughs> you guys are all focused on becoming like evangelicals that you've forgotten that you're supposed to be Egyptian and so that's what the church will be restored to and uh, uh, and if you don't like it, you don't have to join. There is no forcing. Like I said, uh, it's a charity. The religion is just a side thing for those who who want to pursue pure science. What? Pure science? You mean religion? And dogma? And, and uh, blind faith? No. The ancient Egyptian religion was science. You don't think they built those pyramids off of faith. <laughs> so, yes, the prophets here, revelator, translator, they're all sciences. Especially translator. Linguistics science. So, uh, that's what the religion will turn into, is a hard science um, uh, course of study. And those who want to pursue that will pursue that. So yes, the BYUs, they're going hardcore science. No more of this uh, psychiatry crap and pseudosciences and scripture study. No, we're not doing the Mormon scripture study as is. We're doing the scientific study of the scriptures. And so, yes, expect more scriptures to be added and the scriptures that were taken away to be added. Did you not know that, Mormons? Joseph Smith's Bible included the Apocrypha. Spencer W. Kimball, with his changes in uh, 1979, which was the Bible, and then 81 for the triple, uh, he left out the Apocrypha. Wanted nothing to do with the Apocrypha. Kimball's even the guy who stapled shut the Song of Solomon. Come on! That's excellent literature. <laughs> Thy breasts are like a cluster of grapes. <laughs> Which <laughs> sounds more like an insult than a romantic poetry, but <laughs> to each culture their own, I guess. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I expect uh, the pseudepigraphic literature to be uh, utilized in the scientific scripture study and we're doing study we're not doing no Book of Mormon reading so Book of Mormon will be study which means we will research which books were plagiarized in the Book of Mormon so that we can interpret correctly the coded message that the plagiarized material is signaling to us. Didn't know that part, did you? So it's going to be actual study. Scientific study. No more read, ponder, pray crap. And you guys even misinterpreted that from Moroni 10, 3 through 5. You didn't compare it and contrast it with Alma 32 to verify that what you were misinterpreting was misinterpreted. Alma 32 makes it very clear what the process is and that's the scientific process. Ah, because farming is science. <laughs> so yes, expect a lot of changes for the better. The poor will no longer exist because they will now be given whatever they need and want. And we'll 
be contributing back to the storehouse from which they receive. That's how the charity system will work. So, uh, yep, we're on a campaign now to uh, inform the public that the church needs to close. Just get it done and over with so that I can save the world. <laughs> there are a lot of people who suffered because of the church. And so, uh, yes, that's how you're getting your tithing back for those of you who have been scammed by the church. Um, my charity organization will be the compensation for those who have lost money to the church. <laughs>